Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the video. I hope your day is going great. We just got hard debated by the LA Gladiators. Yes, guys, they posted earlier today that they were releasing their support duo, Big Goose and Shaz. Now, at the time that they released this, the community was going absolutely nuts. Pro players, coaches, just everybody in the high level involved with the Overwatch League was responding on Twitter like, what the F is going on? Because this legitimately made no sense. Why on earth would you release Big Goose and Shaz. They played for the Finnish World Cup team. They played for the LA Gladiators in season one, and they were amazing. They were the best Western support duo in the entire league, no doubt about it. I was completely taken off guard. I couldn't believe that the LA Gladiators would release their support duo only like three days before the deadline. Yeah, that's right, guys. Three days before the deadline. If the LA Gladiators legitimately did drop their support duo at this time, that means Big Goose and Shaz would have like a 5% chance at signing with another team because it's so close to the signing window and every single team already has their support players there would be no room for them anywhere it honestly wouldn't matter how good big goose or shaz is because the teams they have their players there's no room for them they don't have the money like if this were legit big goose and shaz would have been screwed over completely and deep down i kind of thought it was a troll because the la gladiators are not the type of org that would do this to their players sure maybe we'd expect this from a couple of the other teams in the overwatch league but not the la gladiators so yeah, that's what happened today, guys. It was absolutely nuts. If you missed out on it, don't worry. Today, I'm going to be showing you exactly what happened from the LA Gladiators making the announcement that they're dropping their players to all the pro players and coaches in the Overwatch League freaking out on Twitter about it, the community going nuts, and then eventually the LA Gladiators come and clean, letting everybody know it was a debate. We actually are not getting rid of our duo. It's just changing to a trio because they just signed Rippa, another Finnish player. So it was absolutely nuts. If you want to stay updated on anything and everything Overwatch League related, this is definitely your channel, so click that subscription button, and now let's hop into it. So this was the post that was made by the LA Gladiators about 45 minutes ago. The LA Gladiators say farewell to the Finnish duo. Our thanks to Big Goose Overwatch and Shaz Overwatch for the glorious season. Oh man, and then there was this gift down below. And, you know, at first glance, it's like, holy shit, this can't be legit. What is going on? Everybody's freaking out, right? You can see this down below in the responses. We have OG from the Dallas Field, their main tank, question mark, question mark, 343 likes. We have Funny Astro, former British Hurricane player, that's a yikes for me. Jane, the coach of Dallas Field, question mark, question mark. Harry Hook, an open mouth face. Jur, a New York Excelsior Academy player, question mark, question mark. Fusions, Boston Uprising player, question mark, question mark. Kareem what the f finzi a paris player cruise another paris player rock is from the houston outlaws everybody's going nuts like you go through all these responses it's, it's just pro players losing their minds we have stylosa another fellow youtuber sleepy the san francisco shock support player we have bren who is an analyst in the overwatch league numlocked former la valiant player like you just keep going down and down it doesn't end fisher an envious player tonic dogman pretty much anybody and everybody part of the overwatch league that seen the news took to Twitter and was just like, what? is happening. And to be honest, for the first few minutes, I fell for the debate. After I saw this, I immediately went to Twitter and I tweeted this out. What the hell is going on? LA Gladiators have just kicked Big Goose and Shaz. And as you guys have seen already, I wasn't the only one with this immediate reaction. Dante was streaming a player from the Houston Outlaws and somebody told him the news in the chat and he just kept going on and on and he even told Rockus, and then we eventually seen Rockus post on Twitter about it. Let's roll that clip from Dante's stream. What? What's happening? Okay. Who's their new main support? Dude, do you see that Rockus and um Rockus, do you see that Shaz and Big Goose aren't on gladiators anymore? Who they got traded to. They owned the like I think they were one of the best support duos in the league. I think they were so good. Didn't say trade though, it says release. Well they're not gonna say trade because they don't want to spoil the other team's announcement. So, yeah. And doesn't say release either. It says they say farewell to the finished duo. So, yeah. 
So yeah, Dante pretty much shared the same reaction as me, like, why would they do this? Big Goose and Shaz were one of the best duos in the entire league, the best Western one without a doubt, and it's so close to the deadline, it just doesn't make sense. He did talk a little bit about a trade, possibly, but again, being so close to the deadline, who would want to trade their supports, especially both of them? If it were legit, it would have been an absolutely crazy move, but as we all know now, it is not legit. And unfortunately, since it was so early into the day, there weren't a lot of Overwatch League Pro streaming. Dante was literally the only one so we could only get his stream reaction mostly everything was done on Twitter so that will be it for the professionals reacting to it so everybody's losing their minds right some people think oh maybe it's not legit and I start to look at it and I say hmm Look at the wording here. It says farewell to the duo. It doesn't say they're released. It doesn't say they're traded. As you guys heard in Dante's clip, Dante thought, oh, well, you know, maybe they just don't want to spoil the other team's announcement. And then I start thinking, oh, yeah, I leaked that Rippa is going to be joining the LA Gladiators. Guess what? Rippa's also finished. So maybe the LA Gladiators saying farewell to the duo because we're a trio now. Then I tweeted this out. I don't think it is legit, guys. No way they released their support duo this close to the deadline. I'd expect this maybe from another Overwatch league org but not the la gladiators and well it seems like i was right at the end of the day la gladiators was just baiting us and it was a crazy bait they had the whole entire community upside down we thought it was legit for a while but they did post on twitter saying it's a finished trio now ripa joins the gladiators as the finishing touch with a link to their news article let's take a look at that Today, the Los Angeles Gladiators announced the acquisition of Rippa, hailing from Hivinica, probably butchered that, Finland, Rippa joins fellow Big Goose and Shaz on the Gladiator support line. In Overwatch Contenders Europe, Rippa established his Zenyatta and Moira play on the team Giganti. The team finished second place in Season 1 and third through fourth in Season 2. Rippa will provide us with more depth at the support position, which previously only had Shaz and Big Goose. His time on Giganti and EU Contenders showed that he was really mechanically gifted and that he can really shine at the top level of play, says head coach D. Pay. I am excited to be playing with Rippa. It will be good to have another support and another finished teammate, adds Big Goose, Gladiator's main support. The Gladiators ended season one strong, finishing fourth overall in the inaugural season of Overwatch League. Since then, they have made new acquisitions, signing main tank Roar, DPS Decay, and now finally Rippa. And there it is, guys. We got you baited, and LA Gladiators knew it. They went on Twitter, and they said this after it was all done. You guys thought we wouldn't top the Great Bamboozle? Oh man, that hurts. So if you guys don't know what the Great Bamboozle was, it was a crazy play that the LA Gladiators pulled off in the playoffs against the Ludden Spitfire. Let's just go ahead and roll the clip for context so you guys know exactly what the LA Gladiators are talking about. Here comes you know what. If they also have Junkra, we go from the back of a uh, hotel. Yeah, the back, the left side door. Yeah, boy, do you know, if left side door, hotel, we go there, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No save. Don't cry, don't cry. Okay. Don't cry. Yeah, Remember, one inch from the wall. Yeah, yeah. Save your bubble. Don't cry, don't cry. We're going to take that. Around. We're going to take a point. Okay. Go, Hoto. Yeah, yeah. Careful, trap. Careful, trap. Trap, trap, trap. Remember. Go, go, go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Careful. Let me chill. Let me chill. We don't perch. We don't perch. They're on point. They're on point. Careful, careful, careful. Nice. I got Hoto. I got Hoto. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. I'm going to call the 3 to 1. They have solo heal. They have solo heal. Yeah, wait for me. Wait for me. Okay, walk in, walk in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We drop from uh, perch to keep point. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Goose call it. Yeah. Mind that. Hey, three, two, one, now. Yep. I'm speeding. Yeah, yeah. Someone rush on point, rush on point. Rush point, point. rush point, rush point. We don't worry about it. Go, 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 team that won the championship crazy move there i loved it but this was still insane too which one do you guys think was crazier what do you think was the bigger bamboozle was it today them fake releasing their support duo or was it the play they made in the playoffs i'm gonna have to go with the play in the playoffs because it's just so damn cool it's the overwatch league this was a debate it hurt man it hurt i couldn't believe they pulled that on us guys 
But that really is going to be it. This is everything that happened today with the LA Gladiators and the Overwatch League. They fake kicked two of their players, two of their really important players. Well, to be honest, I'd say everybody on the LA Gladiators is pretty important. Their roster's just looking really good. I can't wait to do my series where I count down the worst to the best teams in the Overwatch League because LA Gladiators, they're definitely going to be up there, guys. They made some amazing acquisitions during the offseason. We all thought after they lost Fisher, you know, they might not be as good, but hey, they replaced him with somebody who could almost be just is good we don't know yet for sure but roar was amazing in korean contenders they also signed to k who was the hottest player during the offseason signings everybody wanted him teams were coughing up 250k plus to sign this guy and the la gladiators got their hands on him so this will be a very fun team to talk about if you guys are excited for that series if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to my channel for more daily overwatch league content that is going to be it for me though guys thank you for watching i'm out of here peace